Hey my village, I'm back again with another video and another topic. So this is your coach Mo, if you didn't know who I am. I wanna to speak to you guys, the ambitious minds and that are ready to turbocharge your business by finding your ideal client. We're gonna to try to break this down in 60 seconds. So <laughs> um, I have a few tips. This is about uh, four tips. So the first tip is define your niche. You know, I always talk about niche, niche, niche. Some people don't know what niche is, so let me break it down to you. So a niche is basically what lights you up, uh, will get you excited. So defining it, it's that sweet spot where passion and expertise collide. Um, it's your playground, pretty much, simply put. Uh, number two, your ideal client persona is number two. So build a persona for your dream client. What do they love? You have to know uh, what keeps them up at night. Um, get very, very detailed and specific. It's like dating your business soulmate. That's the easiest way to explain it. And number three, you have to do research. Research, research, research. Y'all know I'm a researcher. It's part of my my thing being in psychology and um, <laughs> it's just you love researching. I always figure out the science behind stuff. That's what my degrees are in. So research, research, research. So um, dive into market research. That's my favorite thing. I use Facebook a lot for market research. There's so many groups. You can ask questions, have questionnaires, do polls, things like that on your social media. Play with it. But that's the only way you'll find what the pain points is. You have to know your audience pain points, um, their desires, the lingual that they speak in, because how could you create content and speak to them when you don't know how they talk? Um, but it's the secret sauce. So you have to find that information out. Uh, number four, last but not least, engagement. Engagement is key. I know some people don't like engaging much because they're shy. I'm that person. I'm an introvert but I'm very comfortable talking behind a camera. I don't have no audience. It's easy to record. So if you don't like live content, you don't want to be on live, stuff like that, pre-record, record like I do. Um, I used to go live every week, but I would be sweating. I would have to have a fan going because I have social anxiety. <laughs> so literally I would be having so much fun doing live Q and A's. You would never know I'm nervous, shaking, sweating, because I have a fan going to keep me from looking like I'm perspiring. And I would have notes. Um, I'll take notes, things like that. But you have to engage with your audience. You have to ask questions. You have to run polls. You have to slide into the DM if you need to. But don't do that. Like, don't code message people. I hate that. I absolutely frown upon code messaging. But the more you connect, the clearer your ideal client become. So I hope these four tips help. Um, you're on your way to attracting your dream client. I want you to drop your favorite tips below in the comments and let's build a thriving business community. Until next time, Coach Mo out.